Okay. In ignoring the Bible, we have damned ourselves. In ignoring the Bible, we have damned ourselves. How have we done that? Well, you know that whole generational curse thing? For some reason, I'm really getting it right now. I'm really understanding it. And I'm understanding that the habits and choices of the parents, us, will transfer down to the habits and choices of our kids. <clears throat> so, choices, good or bad, whatever they are, will transfer down to our kids. And the reasoning for those choices will also transfer down. Or the non-reasoning, unconscious reasoning for those choices, you know. I felt like it. I had no particular reason why I did it. I just know that it felt right. And so I did it and got myself in a lot of shit and changed the lives of this generation to the next, to the next, to the next, until somebody stops this dumbass legacy that I created with my energy of choosing improperly in this time and moment because I didn't fucking know. And the, the, the would-be upsetting thing about this is that I, me, I refuse to say I'm a victim. Hey, Kira. Mwah. Love you. See you later. <laughs> Love you, mommy. So I was a victim of this myself because I made improper stupid choices. I mean, I was a kid, so I was around other kids with energy that I followed. I gravitated toward because pretty much they look like me. But just because they look like me doesn't mean they were me. Each person is an individual that still has to make choices. But if you're surrounded by energy going a certain way, especially if you're a kid and you don't know, most likely you're going with the group energy. That's what God was talking about. That's what the Bible was talking about when it says that God will take the curses of the Father down to the next generation, to the next, to the next. We are constantly creating our legacy with our choices constantly creating our legacy with our choices so if we don't make proper choices for ourselves it could fuck up the whole line from this generation to the next to the next to the next I said it wasn't a curse but you know that already went out the window because I get excited yes I do I get excited especially when I understand something this deep it I mean immediately it brings repentance or change in my life because okay I know that my child is watching my energy at all times and is going to reflect back to me my energy and reflect to the world the energy that I show her so that means I need to watch my thoughts my speech my actions at all times because kids can read your actions just like other adults can other adults, especially couples, you know when the other person is mad. You're usually the one who ticked them off in the first place. But anyway, this was supposed to be a short. I don't even know if I'm going to post this one. But I'm going to listen to it and then we'll see. But the point is, we have to get control of ourselves. This whole thing is about self-discipline. Because your choices create your legacy. Everybody's watching you. Your kids are watching you, parents. I wish somebody would have told my parents this. I don't even know if they would have understood because of the environment. But at the same time, understand that your choices affect your kids. And they see everything. You can't hide shit. If you're cheating, you're not hiding it. They know. <laughs> you're lying, they know. You're just teaching them how to lie next time. They know it's all energy. You can't hide it. You can try. They're going to pick up on it, especially kids. 
they're beyond words right now. They're mostly into to feeling. They'll get more into words the more the, the more the adult they become. But they're a your shit. So watch yourself and take care of your energy. It's very important. Peace.